Presenting to you first, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing his traditional black trunks and hailing from Catskill, New York. He weighed in at a ready 218 pounds with a record of 45 wins, two losses. He has 39 big wins coming by way of knockout. The youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title. He is looking to exact his revenge and regain his championship tonight. Challenging for his third heavyweight crown. Here is the current WBA number one contender, one of the great powers of heavyweight history, the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing uh, Iron Mike. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner presenting the defending world champion wearing purple trunks with white trim fighting out of that representing his hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. He weighed in the same weight as his opponent, 218 pounds, with a record of 33 wins. Three losses, he has 24 wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome only the second man in history to have captured the heavyweight crown three times, the former undisputed cruiserweight world champion, the former undisputed heavyweight world champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is boxing's warrior spirit, the current WBA heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Evander. The sense of anticipation as before the first fight is almost palpable. Here we go, fight two, round one. Left hooks by Evander Holyfield. Holyfield measuring Tyson out now with the left jab. Looking to set up the right, there it is. Right on the top of Evander Holyfield's trying to play that strategy too, Steve. Tyson with a left hook to the head of Holyfield. He hurt Mike really good with that right hand. I'll tell you what, though. Mike hit him back with a left hook. This is going to be a war. What a first round. The chance at Holyfield start early. They started in the sixth round of the first. Bad intentions on the punches from both fighters in round one. Again, more head movement from Tyson. Something we didn't see in the first fight. He looks over to, to Mills. Hey, it's a cut hey, hey. around the right eye of Mike Tyson from a clash of heads, I believe. That's just what happened. And Mike said, what about this fighting? What about this head? If an accidental foul occurs before the end of the fourth round, the fighters rule the technical draw. After the end of the fourth, they go to the car. Holyfield digging in with uppercuts to the body. Now going upstairs, looking for the cut. Into the ropes by Holyfield. And he's going to need it. Tyson, he's but forgot his mouthpiece. He's anxious to get this on. I think he's blown the first two rounds, and uh, he better get started. Round two, very bad for Tyson with that bad cut. Pushed away by Holyfield. Again, showing his strength. A sense of urgency here by Tyson. And that's the old Tyson we know. The that's tiger. the Mike Tyson that came. That's the Mike Tyson that needed to come. Nice right hand by Mike. He is trying to get that right hand home. Back comes Tyson on the belt. Tyson with a short left hook to the head of Holyfield. A right hand right. by Mike Tyson to the head of Holyfield. A straight right. Good Tyson. stiff jab. That's the jab Mike didn't have in the first fight. What happened here? He got bit, I think. Stop. Evander Holyfield, look out, he's pushed right here, above us, by Tyson. He's got bit in the ear. Oh, my goodness, he's got a bloody right ear. Holyfield bit by a dirty Mike Tyson. I can't believe what I'm seeing. 
Well, first he had a parachute drop on him. Now he had a heavyweight bite. Bite. What did we get that on tape? Biting Holyfield in the right ear. What a reaction. Well, and he certainly that hurts like hell, but he certainly had a big bite. And that's a dangerous bite. Oh, disgusting tactics here by Mike Tyson. has been deducted from Tyson for that vicious exhibition. Now they could disqualify him, but they've taken a point, that's for sure. Oh, here comes the commissioner now. they got to figure it out. Well, this is the doctor and the commissioner. They're both he taking a look at it. He, he bit his ear. He's out. He, he bit his ear. I can see the bite marks. Okay. He bit his ear. He's out. Well, Tell me Mark Ratner, head of the commissioner. Well, let me ask the doctor. He bit his ear. Can you can he go on? Yes. Okay. It's gonna be a two-point deduction. The fight will go on. Two point. Be a two, uh, Mills Lane two, was ready to stop the fight for Holyfield. The fight will go on. Overruled by Slip Pavansky, the doctor who said Mills Lane is a take charge kind of guy. He's a yeah, judge. He He'll him take no both, nonsense. He both shit. It's gonna cost him two points. Two points. Two points off here. He bit his ear. Two points off. Two. Can you believe this? Two oh, points. Wait, this is getting stranger and stranger. We're getting to see strange things up. happen in boxing. We go back to the change of referees. I wonder how this would have played in right. Mitch Halpern's eyes. Oh, my goodness. That's a, that's a thought, Bobby. You got a big, tough judge here. Major controversy here in round three. A very angry Evander Holyfield now. A, a left hook. You know, it's funny. Tyson. Mike was having his best friend. He bit him again. He, he bit him again. again. Mike Tyson has bitten Evander Holyfield for the second time, and it is all out of war. I saw that one. That was right clear. It's a miracle he didn't get bit back. I'll tell you what, this is unbelievable. I think they've just about had enough. Tyson showing desperation in fighting Holyfield two times. Look out now. More fighting in the ring after the end of the fight. Tyson's trying to get at Holyfield again, I believe. It is complete bedlam, and Tyson is just taking swipes at anybody in front of him. The police are coming in by the squad here, and they're still fighting in there. It's a fiasco in the ring. People are jumping above us. Trying to get in there. There's the security trying to hold Tyson back. The headbutt in the second round, which opened the gash on your eye. Tell us about that first, please. Um, he butted me um, in the first round, but then he butted me again in the second round. Then as soon as he butted me, I watched him. He had me holding, and he looked right at me, and I saw him, and he was going for and he kept going flying. He butted me again. He kept going down and coming up, and he charged into me. And no one warned him. No one gave him, took any points for him. What am I to do? This is my career. I can't continue getting butted like that. Like I got children to raise, and this guy keeps butting me, trying to cut me and get me stopped on cut. I got to retaliate. Now, immediately, you stopped. You stopped fighting immediately. Immediately, right there and you turned to Mills Lane and you said what and he the result was he did nothing but what did you say to Mills right at that time I don't remember what I said I told him that he butt me but I know I complained about being butted and we and we complained about the um the first fight listen Holyfield is not the tough warrior everyone says he is he got a little nicks on him there and he quit I got an eye I got one eye I got one eye. He's not impaired. He got ears. I got one eye. Big deal. If he take one, I got another one. I'm ready to fight. He didn't want to fight. I'm ready to fight him right now. Well, Mills Lane, no. Mills Lane stopped the fight. It wasn't Holyfield who stopped the Oh, fight. he didn't want to fight. Let he me, didn't want to fight. Let me ask. Let me, we don't know what Mills did. Okay. Don't put nothing okay. on Mills. Okay. Well, Mills said he stopped the fight. You bit him. Was that a retaliation for the eye? when you bit him in his ear. Regardless of what I did, he bit butting me for two fights. But you got to address it, Mike. Why I did, did you address, bite him? No, I did address it. I addressed it in the ring. 
Why, why did you do that, though, Mike? I mean, was look that the proper me. response? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I got to go home. And my kids are going to be scared of me. Look at me, man. What are you going to do now in terms of your career, Mike? Well, you continue to fight. Okay, okay.